it's a unique legacy where you can come from the most incredibly powerful family in the nation and yet when you write a book the man your aunt marries is referred to as odious mm. you finally don't get along with your aunt and in fact mm. strongly suspect that she plays a leading role in the murder of your uncle and your father mm. you do not get to see your grandmother who is held away in a different country mm. tell me i have always wanted to ask in a sense does the legacy become a burden ever surely you would have chosen if you ever had the choice a quote and quote normal life than the power and the legacy that comes with being putto well i think all the things you've mentioned um are evidence uh, of the fact that we've never been in power i mean my family um me we have always been on the outside of power um and these things that you've mentioned uh are have been done to us by those in power so coming in an ironical sort of way so it's a it's a it's a strange situation to yeah. be part of this powerful family but always fighting against the system uh i didn't grow up in the prime minister's house you know i sure. i grew sure. up in in exile so i did have a normal life really um i had a very normal childhood with my father Um, and those are the moments that you really treasure because that's what you write absolutely. in the book. Absolutely. Yes. I mean I you know I didn't grow up with with any sort of entourage or retinue of people around me. I mean my father uh cooked my breakfast for me and you know we we sort of cleaned up around ourselves and we had a, we lived in a two bedroom bachelor flat. So I did have a normal life and and certainly um I treasure that always. Um but you know I think my father had a greater cause. I think he had um had so many things he was he was unable to accomplish because his life was cut so short um and in the face of those things in the face of justice you know what's a normal life um this has become normal now this this fighting from the outside or against the system um and i i'm 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 honored to do it the other big question is as in some senses the bhutto family moves on to a new generation to you and your cousin Bilawal will there be or is there any hope that there will be reconciliation in this generation because clearly the last generation is gone oh, i don't i mean i think we're on two different paths i think those we are on two different trajectories entirely i've been noticing it from the beginning of the interview the the locket that you or or the or the or the medallion that yes. you wear around your neck Yeah. You mentioned that in the book, don't yeah. you? This um this was my father was wearing um when he was killed. Um and it's it's the sword of Zulfikar, it's right. the two-pointed sword. Yes. And um uh, my father really didn't wear jewelry. I mean, it's one of the very few things he wore. And you see that in the book. And and after he was killed, my mother uh my mother gave it to me. And um I wear it I wear it sometimes I wear it when um when I want him to be close by or when I feel like I need an extra bit of strength um and it's a reminder also it's a reminder of what happened always I have one last question for you which is and allow me to quote from your book um right at the end in the epilogue of your book um and it's dated april 2009 and we are now in april 2010 and therefore i want to quote this to you you say as i finish this book it feels as though the world around me is slowly collapsing that was exactly a year ago yes. we're now in april 2010 mm-hmm. is the world still collapsing fatima butto or is it beginning to perhaps regenerate itself well i think we're trying to rebuild it <laughs> in our in our small ways um i think having this book out being able to finally speak i hope i hope this staves off those collapsing those collapsing walls at least it's the start i hope miss butto thanks very much for your time i really appreciate your time and welcome to india thank you very much thank, thank you, you for having much. me it's a pleasure thank you